A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files... Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's got to be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low. Even for Hill. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around oh. Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Meet anyone interesting? Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor. The toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. You going to play nice this time? Well, that depends on you. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. 
What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You are really starting to piss me off. Oh, there you are. I was hoping you'd come out and play. Write it down. Now. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. Nothing. It's quiet. Yeah, nothing here. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Well, the sound of nobody here. Let's see what we got in this pretty door. Shit, I had to move it. Why do I have to move it? <laughs> This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh, he's... He's gone Gordon. So we got some... Nothing left to bury. Testile organs. Scorch marks. Analyzing. Cool. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Yeah. Be very, very it's careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Exploded yeah, did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing yeah. next to it. Evidence. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see big what I can boom. piece back together. All right, now where? So we have to link all the evidence to figure out what. I've seen there. these outfits before. Same mercs that it's broke into City Hall. Here. We gotta do it. Get open that. There's what's in here. 
Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Probably that uh, volatile li liquid or chemical that's... It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. There's a cop here. Shouldn't the cops already know about it? Can't go that way. Ooh, we got unsforced area. It's weird. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Definitely a car. Maybe a big truck. Just link the two and figure out what it was. Probably a big storehouse or a truck. Yeah. Oh, storehouse or a truck. Uh, warehouse. Someone truck. drove off after the explosion. Another white, white, white rose. rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. I don't like it. He's a little prick. Hey, more dead people. No. That bad? Oh, he's missing an eye and a jaw. Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Not at all. What do we have here? Pocket. Skylight Club. Link that. Let's see what we can the top. This man's been Pretty badly terrible. burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? In it burned from the inside out. Oh god, what are we doing here? Okay, that was a little disgusting. Sensors Disgusting. say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Big boom. Ooh, we got bloody hand. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, why what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. For once you're glad, what about the other times? Well, that's not superhuman strength. I don't know what is. Looks like a Can't bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Yeah, makes sense. Have you put it together? Yes. Have we? We have? Please, let me in. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. 
He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Except for a few Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. All right, let's go over there. Next one. All right, let's scan this area. See if we got anything here. There it is. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, buddy. You did good. You traced it. Yeah, sniffed him out. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Looks like he might have went out the window. We have here cigars. Cigarettes. Hmm. <laughs> Killing time. Still warm. The trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Jeez. So he uses a voice changer. He doesn't arrive. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> oh. Don't make me Get add your turn. corpse to this graveyard. Falcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find them. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Ooh. You've been punching bag. Oh, the metal rod. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. Yeah, tell me why I should stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. <laughs> Tell me! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container! Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here. 
and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A Good weapon! Boy. I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! Let him keep talking. You're a cat! Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. I'll talk to Gordon. Hey! Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No. Thank God. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I you told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? Falcone was behind this. Falcone? Yeah. I thought he'd been a little quiet lately. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk. Turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. Uh, You're right. taking this too far, Bruce. Well, I didn't break his arm, at least. More or less. I almost did, but I didn't. Alright. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to arm. death. I didn't, I didn't touch him. Your parents didn't raise you this way. Alfred, I didn't even do anything. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. No, he isn't. I didn't Next do time, anything it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Ah. Low blow, Alfred. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Who my parents were, You're my only friend, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce. But you never bury the memory. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could. Such a bad memory. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Why Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, Remember why you started all this? Remember that boy in the alley? I won't forget. Neither will I. Thank you, Alfred. You're such a great parent. Ooh, we got well, two of back into here. the fray again. Let's see here. Well, looks like that egg computer. finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Good. Alright, so let's see what we got. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Why is it all red? Red is not good. Where would we possibly bad. begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. 
I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. I think I should give it to the police. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. Yeah. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. No, that's I nice haven't stay. tried yet. I have it. Let's see what we can do about this. What this seems like... It feels like the episode's ending soon, but I don't want to end it. Alright. Yeah, I'll end this episode here. Alright, we're taking down Doc Coney, that shithead. Bastard factor. I really want to kill him. I don't want to kill him, but I won't kill him. He'll go to jail. And then get released. I might kill him. But I chose Gordon because the police... Sorry, excuse me. Um... The media can sometimes screw things. Like if, even though Vicky wanted to do, might want to do good, her supervisors might not want to be. And I feel Gordon's a good, and Gordon can. All the police are good. We're good. It's gonna be good. All right. Until next time, I will see you guys later.